Okay. I'm just trying to tell you everything. That's not what I want. Okay. I want to start from July 24th. About, and everything I want is encompassing July 24th until July 26th. Okay, well, I know that he was supposed to, um, he paid Here. for a couple people, to, he, he paid for a couple people to go to the doctor or whatever. And um, he was supposed to get, uh, I guess, go and get whatever they were getting. I don't really know the detail of their deal or whatever. I just know he paid Get for something them. illegal. Yeah, that's okay. what I'm I just know that he pays for them to go see the doctor, and then they give him, I guess, some of whatever they're getting from the doctor. I'm assuming it's pills, probably. And um, he was supposed to have got went and done handled that, I guess, took care of that transaction and stuff. What day Friday. are we talking about? Okay. This would have been Friday, but we were here. All right. And um, the, that girl, Christina, now I only, honestly, I've only met her a couple times at the places I told you that. The pregnant one? The pregnant girl. Okay. I've only met her a handful of times, and even probably two or three times at most. The, twice in that parking lot with the pharmacy, and then one, one time at a racetrack, like at a gas station. Not far from that pharmacy that I told you about. And... Um, I don't know if it was her or the other girl, Christina. They were saying that someone said that she knew something, that she had been, you know, speaking to Ruben all day. Uh, all day Thursday or, yeah, all day Thursday it had to have been Thursday. That um, Then this is what Brittany told me last night, that someone, someone from the club told her that if she spoke to me to tell me that the girl, Christina, Ruben had been talking to, knew something that I need to tell you guys that y'all need to check into her further. That she she had been dealing with Ruben for all day and night. She had to have seen my baby at one, at one point in time. She knows where my, that she could know where my baby is. Is what Brittany told me last night on the phone. And um, so I know he had, you know, a deal going on with her. Um, I know he had a deal going on with the other, with the other guy. Um, Adam? No. It's another guy, okay. Paul. His name's Paul. And I know he lives in Ocean Way. I could take you to his house if I had to. I have, um, I've been to their house and didn't get out, but I know how to get there. Um, and then, as far as I know, that was all he had going on as far as that. Now, he does know someone, a guy named Trey, that lives, um over in Sugar Mill Complex. Do you know where that is? You know what I'm talking about? I'm listening. Okay. Trey, so Trey what? Um, he lives over there. I know that he um, he has went and picked stuff up from him before. And, um, you, you, you know, I'm just, just I'm, I'm, I really am. I'm just trying to think of anything that maybe that I've left out or you mm. felt I'm Telling you everything is what I'm trying to tell you. Um, people that I didn't mention before, I'm telling you about. Um, those, and then Jake, as far as Jake goes, he, um, him, Robin, Ruben have, I guess, they've all been a little bit confrontational. Jake and Rob don't like me because of the title incident with the bike. I don't know about that. Well, you told me you didn't want to hear about no, that. No, no, I said I didn't know about that, but I mean, you yeah, mentioned yeah, when yeah. you mentioned the bike earlier, it would have been nice. Yeah, he kind of quit talking to him or whatever because they took, you know, dislike him. So Ruben's been shitting him on the title or doing something no, to Ruben's? They, he, Rob felt like I tried to get over on him. I, I give him the car title instead of the bike title, but I just wasn't paying attention. You know, when he called me and said, hey, you know, this is the wrong title, I said, okay, well, you know, I'll get you. I'll How's this tie into your son being missing? Okay. I'm just telling you, Jake was at my house that day. What? Um, for Wednesday, the day before, I'm sorry, Wednesday, when my mom okay. was there. All right, that's not the day of this incident. Okay, I'm just trying you're, to tell you're you stalling. some people that he has pro that you're he stalling. may have some problems. You're stalling with me. I'm not stalling. I'm just trying to you're go stalling over with every me. little thing with you. You just said out of your mouth that last night you got information that from this, Brittany, from Brittany yeah. that this pregnant girl uh -huh. might know something about where your I kid guess. is. Yeah. Did you call my phone and tell me that? Why are we hearing this now? Did, I tried to call you all morning, and she you was, were sleeping. 
I didn't go to sleep until like a sudden. What? No, but if still, you why are we here this now? That you, that we might be able to find because your she kid. Didn't you know, know, she didn't know that if it was the pregnant girl or who. She just thought you she just said, said just that. Like, I said I think that she's talking about what, her. What? You know, that's not your job. Your job is you hear something. What do you do? Who do you call? Correct. I should have. I. You're. You're absolutely right. I don't even know why. I. I know why it. because it's stupid. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. What? You're blowing smoke up our ass. I am not run. trying to do that. Calm no, down. Not. Calm down because I'm telling you're you. You're absolutely right though, and I should. I don't really fucking. So I don't so far, know why so I far, this is where you're at. I've got at least two times you've lied to us in this investigation. You've lied twice in here today. <clears throat> Correct. Say about, yes. About the anything. You lied okay. at least twice in here today. Okay. Yes. Yes. Don't get smart with me. Well, I'm not. Okay, because I'm, I'm here. Listen, I'm I'm third. I'm the third day burning a candle trying to find your son. Yes. Sir. Okay, when you were sleeping, my ass was here. Okay. So straighten your attitude up, because I'm telling you, tip, I'm tip of the iceberg, you, young lady. I'm telling you everything. No, you're not. You better get on board. Bullshit. I'm still talking. Lower your I'm voice, me. I'm the I'm the one that needs to be mad. I'm the one that needs to be mad because you have lied to me. You've lied to her. You've lied. You've lied about I, your son to your father. Why does not? How come Reuben don't like your son? I don't know. What? What? Why what? would he not like my son? I don't know. I don't know either. He hasn't never showed any kind of harm nature towards my children. My children weren't scared of him. I would never leave my kids with someone I felt was going to hurt them. I've never in a. I've never seen this. Come, he's never been harmful towards me. He's never been, me and him haven't never fought. He's never put his hands on me. He's never spanked my children. I had no reason to believe that he would do anything. I hope he's not me. spanking your children. No, I don't. wouldn't allow him to spank my children. I don't even spank my children. You let him give they them baths, all right? No, I let, he, he's gave in a bath. Before. Why? He's never, but why? Because he's a boy. I wouldn't, he's a man. I'm not going to let him bathe my little girl, for sure. So it's okay to have a drug dealer and in your house and be around your kids? No, I didn't say that that was okay. I'm, that I fucked up on, obviously. But did I think that he would hurt my children? No, I did not. And they were never, nothing was it's okay to have a drug dealer in your house. Did I say, I know it's not okay. okay. Let's, let's answer, that. That's all I want to know. I just said okay. that. No, it wasn't okay. I fucked up there. That's my fuck up. I should have never. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're not my, done yet. I your fuck ups that. are going. I got a long arm list of your fuck ups since I've known you on this case. We're still not there. Okay, well, I'm, I'm telling you right now. Get there with not, you. I'm, I'm telling you right now. Listen, I'm here. telling you right now, because you've lied during a felony investigation already. Felony investigation. You've lied. I've asked you to be honest. I'm being honest. Okay, <laughs> get on board with us. I'm here. getting on board with you. I'm. Trying you know to where I want to go with this. You want to know. You know where I want to go with this. And I'm not going to spell it out for you. I'm not going to show you our case. I'm not going to show you our case, but I'm going to tell you this. The more you lie to me, I'm going to go get a rights form and read your rights. This I can tell you, and this comes from you. I'm going to go get a rights form. Well, and you I'm, can read them because I don't know where my lower baby your is. Lower your voice to me because you have no right to, lo to raise your voice to me. You fucking lied to me twice in your son's abduction case. Don't. Okay, Lower well, your, don't I, raise your voice to me. I have no reason to want to harm my baby or anything like that. And if I knew where he was, I would definitely have done fucking said something. Yeah, I fucked Stop. up by not calling and telling y'all what Stop. I was doing on Christmas. Stop. 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 I didn't have nothing to fucking do with that. You got a reason to lie to me? No, I do not. Why have you done it twice now? I don't even know. Do you I know how to know tell why. the truth? Yes, I do know how to tell the truth. And I'm doing my best right now. Just kind of coming forward right with you Right now, three days later. I'm doing everything. I'm answering all your questions honestly with you right now. And I can honestly tell you. Your son's been sick. My son's been sick. Yes. I told you what was wrong. I told you. what. Has he not been sick? Yes or no? Moments. Yes. Okay. He's you. been fussy, correct? Not too much. Well, I, yeah, you could say if you're, irritable. If you're teething you and can, you need, like I said, you could say you need fever. Okay, fussy and irritable, about I think, are synonyms, thing. right? Yeah. Okay. So you, it's so much that you need fever reducer for him, right? Because mm -hmm. he's teething. You said something about his teeth. And, he's got four teeth. And so, which may also cause a fever, but also help him. So he's been fussy. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's been sick. He threw up, apparently, right? Did we have something like that uh, on some sheets not a while back? Not too long Once ago. Yeah, about a week. Yeah, about a week ago. And then on the black sheet that was in, uh, on your bed. Yeah, he had a little. He had a touch of diarrhea and, and a little bit right, of vomit. Right, you told us that he, he mm -hmm. pooped and, and vomited on himself. Mm -hmm. So that's that wasn't just because he was eating. If you're pooping and then you vomit, there's more wrong with you than just he didn't eat something good. 
Right. Which, I mean, I called the doctor's office and, and everything. What did they say? They, they said, don't bring him in? No, they said I could bring him in when I brought him in. She had an appointment Friday. He was supposed to go in, too, as a walk-in. I mean, they both had schedules to be seen by the doctor. We just didn't get there. How long have you known Ruben? Um, almost, well, I, I guess you could say almost a year. How long have you been with him? Um, we've been living together for the past two months i guess you would say well Within since he, he was staying with you since and I, when he staying with you when he got popped at baker county that was at your place no what? he wasn't living whose house was that it's my house but he wasn't living with okay so me. we're still sharing that apartment. but he was he popped there he was together. busted there mm -hmm. okay and it wasn't just because of trespassing like we talked about the other day you said maybe it's trespassing something else no, that's, no, what, you're no, no that's what you told me the other day uh, um tampering with evidence yes uh, possession of felony amount of drugs and on it, possession of drug making materials or something or drugs something like that um so is, what am i right or you tell me possession of felony drugs yeah okay and tampering with the evidence okay. hey just real quick do you normally drive the car to white coast um it's about 50 50 sometimes he drives sometimes i drive yeah i do drive it though i drive it a lot why didn't you drive it that night why didn't I drive it that night? Because he told me he'd just drop me off. But why? I mean, he didn't say why. But you said you drove, and I then did. he took, okay. That's what I'm saying, but that's him dropping me off. No, it's you dropping yourself off and him driving. I mean, okay, well, it's apples and oranges. But. Okay, well. Right. He just said he needed the, he didn't have any I'll be down the so. Looking at Proceed. Yeah. He said he wanted to keep the car, so he kept it. All right. <clears throat> I don't want this to be a long night. This is going to be a long night. Okay. You're not going to raise your voice at me again. If you do, I'm going to read your rights. You feel me? <clears throat> We're finished dancing. It's kind of like his signal to tell me to quit dancing around with you. Okay. You're, you're a mother in this. Mm-hmm. You're a person who makes some fucking huge badass decisions in men. And you stood by this motherfucker all day the other day until we had to twist your arm about it, but that was either here nor there at this point. We're gonna look past all that. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> You're you've come in here today and you've purposely lied to me. Okay? Okay. I'm ready to wipe that clean. Okay. Okay. Because if I go and read your rights and I end up arresting you for lying on a felony investigation, which is your son, you're going to get ate up in the media okay. like he is. Okay. I want you on our side. Okay? I'm not going to tolerate I don't know nothing. I'm telling been Detective Bees and I have been giving you this hint that oh, I, don't, I don't have any idea. We're past that. You can get mad, you better not raise your voice at me because I'm gonna tell you right now, I know more than what you're telling me. I'm hoping we would have taken quicker time to get through this, but I know there's more there. I could tell you a lot more. You're gonna know a lot more, but I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Okay. Don't. Let's let's start with it. Let's start with the easy part. Let's start with the easy. Let's start with the easy part. Okay, I may give you that. I'm not ready to give you that yet. I may give you that. Okay. Okay. I'm. I may give. Sweetheart, I may give you that. Listen to me. See how. Let's see how I feel. My hands. I may give you that. I'm not ready to give you that yet. Okay. But you gotta give me what happened to him at the house, wherever. You gotta give it to me. I, look at me. Hold on. I'm I'm not gonna get settle for anything that I think is less than the truth on that. The only thing is, is that keeps popping up in my mind. No, no. Hold on. Hold on. Stop. I don't stop. Know. Stop. Stop. I don't know what happened to him. Though. I can't tell you something that I don't know. I, I would really love for you to be crying right now. 
You okay. Know, I would want I would really to love just have a, a second not to cry, honestly. I, that's one thing this, I can't, I don't know. I don't this is, know what happened this to is, my baby. Okay. We're going to have a tough night. Well, I guess we'll have a tough night. Okay. That I don't know. I don't We're going to have a tough night. I know what team you're on. Wow. Yeah. You can wow all you want. You, you can, can wow all you want. But you know what? What do you want? Four out of five you? fucking dentist survey would say, what I'm not going to come in. What I'm not. A, I want you to come in here and not you fucking think, you think lower I your know voice. I, I, listen, I shut your mouth. You. Listen, do not ask me questions. Okay. You do not ask me questions in here anymore. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. Do not ask me, look at me, or Detective Beasley another fucking question. I want answers. Do not ask me another question. Okay. I'm doing that and she's doing that. Okay. I don't care about, hey, what what do, you, what do you think I would do? Or what would you think? I don't want to hear that. Just shut your mouth and listen. I want answers. You've got answers. I know after three days, you've got answers. I'm not going to blink about it. I know. I've been doing this way too fucking long to know you got answers. You've got answers. And we better settle it tonight. Mate, be on our fucking team. I am you're not. Team. You're not. So far, until you tell me an answer, you're not. You're over here. I'm here. I don't know what happened to my baby. I don't know where he is. I can't take you to him. I don't know where he is. And I don't know what Ruben done to him. Obviously, he's Lower done something. I'm me. sorry. I'm not meaning to yell at you, but that's one thing that I have no reason to fucking lie to anybody about. I, I don't know who's got an orange car. I don't know who. I got a white about, boyfriend. I'm talking about. My I'm gonna boyfriend. lie to you, detective. Oh, she just turned in there I for did. whatever I lied reason. To you about that? I did. Was I, that cool? No, it ain't cool. Was and it? I'm hold on. Hold on. Was truth? it? Was, that right there, do you think I that's important to my investigation? It is important. I and so you would give me a so three it. days later you would give me a critical. And I shouldn't have lied about it, but I did, and I'm telling you now that I. But did. now I'm you're wrong. telling me the truth. Okay. This is but what this right here, I'm telling you the truth from the fucking beginning on. I do not know what he done to my baby. Do I feel like that he done something to him? Obviously. No, you didn't. Not home. No, you didn't. I can tell you right now. I you said, sat right I across feel? from him the other day and you said, I don't think that you would do something. I'm, I'm not talking about the other day. I'm not talking about the other day. I'm talking about me and you at this table right now. Uh, it's very. Before you came in here, did you think he'd done something to your son? I, I told you. Walked in here? Yes. Okay. I do feel like he Why'd you lie to me then? Why'd you fucking lie to me coming in here? Today, on the way here? Any fucking day. I'm talking about right now. In the beginning, no. I didn't think that he had done something to him. Today? I why did you lie to me? I don't know. I'm trying to... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Get that fucking smart-ass smirk out of your face. I'm and don't sorry. raise your fucking lip to me and go, I don't know. Because bullshit on you, I can tell you right now, science will back it up. Common sense will back it up. People lie for a motherfucking reason. And fear is never the reason. It's fear of getting caught. I'm trying to tell you. No, you said I don't know. That's not an answer I want to hear. I, I, why? I went by... Uh, uh, why did you tell her you went to Pinebrook? Her. Why did I tell her to go to Pinebrook? Yes. To, to go and get the money that Jessica owed me. Why is that? Why do you have to lie about that? Like I told you before. Is getting money against the law? No, it's not. But I felt with all the other things that were going on... It's not it important. Was, it's not important, Detective Sullivan. Please stop yelling at me. And let no, me I'm not. You asked me I, I'm going to be in your fucking Kool Aid the whole time. Well, I'm trying to answer your question. What's important? With you screaming at me. You're going to a lot of screaming. I'm going to. I'm going to scream until I hear the answers. Well, I'm trying to tell you. you I'm trying to keep. You, I'm trying to keep you out of jail. You're not doing a good thing. I'm trying to answer you. <laughs> You're not trying to keep yourself out of jail. I'm trying. What's to the answer? I'm listening. What's the answer? You said, "Why did I lie about going there?" Because I told you, I felt like you guys would look at me like I was there for drugs or this, that, and the other. Look at me for the wrong reason of being there. I told you what I give the girl twenty bucks for, but I really didn't feel like you would believe me if that's what I told you. Because of all the shit that he already looks, he, he's doing drugs, drug dealing. This, I felt like that you would put that right on me as well. That's why I didn't. Did tell you go there to get drugs? No, I did not. Okay, then. I, then why not tell me that? 
Because, like I just said. No, you didn't. You said, I feel you would look at me because you would think it's something other than drugs. I'll tell you this. Because if, of how he, all these I'll tell you that this. he already has with it. Look at this. I felt like you would put me straight to that and you wouldn't believe it. Don't me. guess what I'm going to do. Okay. Let that, me that's look at me. Shh, 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 shut your mouth again. You got a big problem running your fucking mouth without listening. Sorry. Look at me. All I want is the truth. If the truth is dirty, it's dirty. But it's the truth. It'll stand on its own. I don't care if you went over there and bought a kilo of cocaine. Does it does it tell me you killed your son? No. If you told me you went over there and bought a kilo of cocaine or you bought a, a sack or you did you bought some Roxy's or whatever and then you went home, I would believe you more. Because you know why? Sullivan, I want to tell you this because I don't want you to think I'm full of shit. I stop here. Your my phones will probably show me that. Okay. And I know you'll find that out three days later. Even off the shit I delete, you'll find out that I did some shit that you, I, I'm not proud of. Yeah. Because it might take you three days to get all that shit and get some answers. Okay. Yeah. I know, but. So do you think I'm more inclined to believe somebody that says, "Hey, I went here." In case you get something or somebody or your, my phone or somebody else says I went over here, I'm going to tell you right ahead, uh, ahead of time because it's the truth. Okay. Because I don't want you to make, I don't want to make myself look like a... A liar. Right, okay. right, right. <clears throat> because when I get a lie, they're not sizes. They don't come small, medium, or large with me. Okay. A lie is a fucking lie. Okay. You feel me? I Okay. A lie is also leaving out stuff. Okay. You agree with that? I do. If I ask you to tell me the everything and you forget stuff, have you lied to me? If I ask, I mean, it's hypothetically, if I say Detective Beasley, tell me your middle name. She just says Detective D. Beasley. I thought you had a middle name. Well, I do. But she just lied to me, right? Okay. 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 Don't leave nothing out. Okay. All right. Okay. I want the dirty shit. Okay. I'm not getting the dirty shit. Okay. All right. The other night, I got a diluted version. Like, oh, I don't know, he's a welder. Oh, I know he does. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Not that he's a traveling drug dealer. He likes to do this. Yeah, I, I didn't know he was traveling. Oh, I'm done. It's, it's hypothetical. I'm just, uh -oh. I mean, he makes money. Not I, from, he don't get an unemployment check from, used to being a welder. He's a drug dealer. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> and you went here because money or something else? To Jessica's, both. But tell me, well, what was the both? What was the second part? I got money and what'd you get? What'd you do there? Um, I collected the twenty dollars that she uh, that she owed me for the beer that I bought her and her sister at the bar the other night, mm -hmm. and um, she uh, was trying. She she tried to get rid of a, a dub to me and told her I didn't need it. I didn't that I didn't want it. And a dub, just I know what a dub is because, but you coke. know, just coke. thank you. But I didn't need it. She tried to give you one, but she just... No, she tried to get rid of it to me. Basically, get her 20 bucks back is what she was doing, trying okay. to make her 20 bucks back. I told her, no, that's all right, because I needed the money. So, is it true that you were out there doing this, and then the police pulled up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, but again, worked. Christina's not lying. No, she's okay. not. No, okay. Made that clear. All right. So, Christina then overhears you and the officer both hear you deny knowing Ebron. Yeah. And... Because that I, I denied that because I didn't know at that point in time that my son was missing. At that when I when he said, "Do you do you have a black boyfriend that drives a, a no, orange?" Hold thing? on, no, 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 hold on, back up. I'm gonna tell you how the report goes, and I know what Christina told us. But I felt like he, he no, he'd already said, nah, he said, no, he already do. said. Listen to me. He already said we've got an abducted child in a stolen car. I pulled up here because I didn't know if this is the car or not. I know it isn't. But I'm looking for our orange Honda Civic, and and a black male. It was it was the one report. Do, do you know anything about that? Then. Then I'm telling him yes. No, you said no. He asked your boyfriend. You have a black boyfriend, there, and and does okay. he have an orange Honda? Honestly, I wanted to get there and check thing check things out, make sure. That right, I'm telling him that. right, and that's one. That's the first little I thing wanted, I knew. That's I the first little thing that I wanted to see. What was exactly, going on for Christina said exactly that. Before I, you know, right, 
before I told them something was wrong right. or right or whatever, I wanted to see Correct. if it was my kid that was missing, Correct. if it was Ruben or not. I didn't Correct. tell them that that was my situation if it wasn't. Right. That's so there, the truth. Now. That's the truth. Okay. Right. That's what Christina said. You told her, hey, I only, because she, she was upset that you lied because she knew. Mm -hmm. Right? Tell me where I'm wrong. I'm, I'm she was kind of upset, like, "Hey, why are you doing this?" You know, and, and you said, "I want to, I want to see what's going on before I, I talk with them or something to that effect." Or, I want to talk yeah. with Ruben. You know, yeah, I, I wanted to make sure that it was actually my kid, not Danny's, right? Or someone else, you know, that had come over because, like I said, we do babysit other people's children. Right. I wanted to make sure it was my kid for sure. That was well. He told you, Ebron. Yeah, but. That, you didn't know if it was going to be I Lexi it, or... Exactly. I didn't know if it is was Is that what you're kid. saying? Yes, I didn't know if it was my kid in the car or not. I just wanted to double check. Mm -hmm. I wanted to get there and Lexi's see. not a white male child. Well, she's... I would call her white. Mm, white male child with a black boyfriend I'm saying, named Ebron. No, you no. still You knew he was talking about yours. I just wanted to make sure. It wasn't set in... It's like no, it was set in stone. stone. Hold on. It was set in stone. It was set in stone. That's why I don't... That's, that's, now, this is the first... I big, just wanted to this is the first in. big hurdle we're getting to. Okay. okay, we got many more before this okay, is over. Well, I'm telling you. First big hurdle is you knew all of a sudden what was up. You knew he had just said whether you you want to say this. I just realized now he's talking about my abducted child. As soon as he said that, you knew what was up. Regardless of what you can claim or not know beforehand, when he mentioned that, there's no. Christina said it. Yeah. There's no doubt. She's like, he's talking about your guy and your son. Yeah. But you still wanted to know the deal. You want to talk to, to Ruben know. first. I know. I just wanted to get back to the apartment. Why? And why? Why? Because I wanted to see what was going why on. Why can't you say, I'm the mother? That's what I told him. I live there. Follow me. Yes. That's she, my residence. Yes, she, I did. Christina said, you live. In, I thought this was. And and he that. asked you about. The officer said he asked about. You didn't say nothing. Christina goes, "Girl, you live in." Mm -hmm. You didn't say nothing. They pulled it out of you. Okay. You don't see nothing wrong with that. I mean, I probably shouldn't have hesitated, but I, I would have so told that officer either let me ride with you, turn on the fucking lights, get me to my house. That's why I told him, follow no, me. He no, didn't you didn't. no, he said, he said I'm going to follow you. Yeah. I'm going to follow you instead of get me to fuck home, run sirens or whatever. He said, I'm going to follow you. He followed you guys. Yeah. Okay, I can now, when we pull up and you're not even at your building yet, why do you want to get out before you get to your house, your apartment? Why did I get out? You told Christina, and she was still freaking out that you're concocting and lying to the cops. Let me out here. She's like, fuck, no, that's your place, isn't it? Isn't that your building you're at? I didn't and tell her to let me out here. I told her to pull I don't, up over I, here, which was out of the way. Out of the way, right. And she's saying the police are over there. Isn't that where you live? We pulled up right beside the Grand I'm just Prix, saying, that, she, that she, Silver Grand it, Prix, and the cop was right here behind listen, the car. What, listen, it's apples and oranges, but it still makes sense that she knew it, it was suspicious or something wrong because... She mentioned that. Yeah, and, well, and she had an eight ball of cocaine underneath her seat. It doesn't okay, matter. It, it doesn't matter. I'm she's not lying about it. She didn't kidnap your son. No, I'm just telling her. Okay. I told her I don't said, get mad at right Christine. Here. I'm not mad at her. Yeah, you're, well, I don't I'm care what she had on I her. Told you, well, I told her to just I don't care what right Christine here. had. Christine, okay, just Christina wanted to go up there or was like thinking, we this is stupid. We were up there. Well, Can I show you where we were No, going? no. I already know. I've, I've been in depth about it. Let's, let's okay, move, well, let's move on. Christina, did, Christina, didn't, right there by the car. Christina didn't kidnap your son. No, I know she didn't. Okay. But she's not lying. I can tell you that she's not lying. You thought she was, you tried to make me make it out like she's a liar. No, I'm not trying to say she's Earlier. lying about it. Not now. We know that. Okay, well. You else? know that. I already knew it. <clears throat> Let's get back to the meat and potatoes of all this, because okay. all that is stuff that you failed at telling me, which okay. was a test, and I know it's not going to happen again. That's right. Okay, because I want to be in here maybe... I don't want to be in here no longer than we have right. to be. I want my Okay, that. well, I'm going to say it right now. We're, we got to take care of getting the rest of the truth out okay. from you. I'm tired of what baiting. You, just you know what I want to? I want to know about this crime. I want to know about this crime. I don't know what else to tell you. The only you want to know what happened to him? I do too. I know Ruben did something to him. He had to have. 
I don't, I cannot sit here and tell you what happened to my baby because I don't know. That I don't know. Do I know that Reuben has, had? obviously he's got everything to do with it. But I don't know what he done to my baby. I don't know where my baby is. And I, I wish I could tell you. I wish we weren't even in this position. What did he tell you happened to the baby? What did he tell you he happened told to the me, baby? He told me, he just kept t- telling me, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, you know, I, on, I didn't hurt. I didn't do it. Um, no. he kept, I didn't. Um, what did I he didn't, tell you? He didn't tell me. He didn't tell me. He, I asked him, tell is my baby alive? Said. I asked him, is my baby alive? And he told me, I'm so sorry. Okay. So that's basically telling me he's not. Okay. But he never told me that. So then we get what in here. He done to him or where he put him. He didn't never tell me that. You know that so it, we were at the apartment. He told me that my that the car was took with someone in it. I didn't know that um, that he didn't chase that vehicle out the parking lot until you told me when we come in here and you said you want to tell her now that you're caught on surveillance coming back from dumping that car. I didn't know any of that until you brought that to my attention. I thought that my hold on, let's back up. You you maybe not knew that detail. Look at me. You maybe not knew that detail. I can give you that. But before I even spoke to you, you just admitted it right now. He hinted to you, and you understood it to believe that son, that your son was when, dead. When we're in here, when we well, were even uh, even so, you when asked you were him right here with me when we were talking to him. All right, you heard the so same. So no thing other time he him. told you I'm sorry. No, he told me he was sorry for leaving that car running. He was still set on the it being a stolen vehicle, an abduction. Someone stole the baby. He he doesn't know. He, oh baby, you know we, you know we leave the car running all the time. It's messed, you know the car's messed yeah. up. I should have locked the doors. He was saying, I'm sorry, you know I, that I left him in the car by himself. It was not that he hurt him. It was that he left him in a position to be uh, took. Uh, is God. what he was. Telling One step us. forward, two steps back. That's where we're at. One step forward, you to, make progress. You make you. progress, and then we. I, I'm gonna tell you. It. <laughs> The reason I'm like that, I'm not being a dick to you. I, I can be aggressive in these interviews. And I know that, all right? But that's because I want the truth. When I know I'm the truth, hold, no, hold on, sweetheart. I'm going to tell you right now. I will put a stack of Bibles in here, and I will tell you I know you're lying to me. Okay? So I'm telling you right now, you are digging yourself a hole. I'm about to go get a rights form. We're going to read your rights. And when that breaks... Good God Almighty, watch it the tidal tidal wave come on you, crash I'm on you. I'm trying to tell you. You better bring it because we're. I'm telling we're, you. I'm the in first here. time that he basically admitted that voice, something was wrong voice. with that he knew it's something was wrong with my child was in here with me and you in here. Yes, mm-hmm. it was. It was. Mm-hmm. It's 4:40 p.m. I'm trying to. It's 4:40 p.m. I'm being honest. You so, ain't being honest about my baby and him hurting my baby. Yes, I am. Do not. Do not. Well, don't make me out to be like I knew something about him hurting my baby because I'm gonna tell you right now, you've done nothing but lie about this whole thing. I did, yeah, about things about drugs, things like that. No, they don't mean nothing, right? I don't give a fuck about my kids, you know? Exactly, my point. Exactly, my point. I'm not gonna lie to you. Why are you so hung up on that? If my child was missing. I wouldn't give a fuck if you pulled drugs out of my ass right now. Okay, and I'm sitting Stop here. thinking about what you're going to get in trouble for. And I've just told y'all that. I'm not worried about any of you that anymore. I'm giving you about everything you. that you're asking for. Every bit of information no, that I know, no, I'm not. giving it to you I'm, right now. I'm, yes, I am. Quit all this and quit all the dramatics. Look at me. We're pulling it out of you. Well, I am okay. willingly sending you. I'm on it you right can, now. I, you know what? Be, you know, more. you can be willingly or not. Okay, your ass that had to be I'm in here, and everything. guess what? We had I'm to ask. I'm willing to tell you anything. I you had to bring you back and give you that information, and I know the answer to it. I will tell you. I am more than willing to tell you. The you will tell me everything. You will tell me three days later when I've already known shit. Listen, I don't care if a week goes by until we find my baby. I'm still not. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you right now. You know what? If your child's out there, say your child got out of that car or he's been walking around the railroad tracks, three days, his life is a death sentence for him. I know this. You waited three days to tell me. I don't know what to tell you what. The truth. About my baby? Lower your voice to me. Please, God, lower your voice to me. You are going to piss me off. Yeah. No, I've been telling you the truth about my baby. 
Now you've been telling me. You've been telling me. Or you been oh uh, drugs don't matter. I'm j I'm trying. You telling me anything? You're cutting me off. Yeah, I'm gonna cut you off. Well, then how are you put, how am I supposed to tell you anything? Because what you telling you me is shut lies. Shut me up! I'm not lying to you. You better you better change your fucking attitude right now. Well, Listen, look at me. Ruben, look at me right here. We hold a lot of cards in our hands for you. I you understand you guys that? The other day, I felt you like let me walk out of here and let the fucking world know that you've lied to me three days about important shit. I do not. Who's your best friend at that time? Us. I'm trying. Don't I fucking get on my ass. I'm on the same team, you guys. I'm not trying to get on your ass. You better chill out. I'm not trying to get on anyone's ass. I'm just I'm point blank. I know that I've. I, I know I lied. And I was we not with even you. finished going over okay. the lies. Okay. But I You need to tell me I'm the lies before you. I say, why did you lie about this? I that's where we're not at. Right now, that's not a lie. I felt the first time that he admitted that, honestly, that I told you, I felt he, he's looking at me in my eyes. I can tell he wants to tell me. He wanted, he, he knows. Yes, he knows. I know he knows where my baby is. And I know he knows what happened to him. And I told you he wants to tell me. I can tell he wants to tell me. I can look in his eyes and know that he he knows. Do I? No, I don't. I wish I did. I wish I could. I wish he would have told me. I really do wish he would have told me. Tomorrow morning you need to be here for polygraph examination. Yes, sir. Anytime. We can do it now if you want to. Anytime. If I could do it now, I would. You're, Anytime. I've gotten you way too amped up. I'm too amped up. We need to put Man, you on a like polygraph. I, I mean, I know you have a hard time believing anything I have to say after I have. No, what? Well, it's just this. Listen, I, I'm. But that I'm. When, when you came in, we, we started out rough. We got. I thought we got on the same page, and and we, I'm trying to stay. But on you got to realize, you know, I am being honest with you now for 120. percent I am. We are here for you. We're not here. We can't be here for your son, except to go find him. We are here for you. Okay. And I'm, okay. And you I'm, are the mom we want to bring him home to. But you know, I when I know stuff and I know you are lying about it, and I don't give a damn if it's because well, I don't want you thinking bad about you. I'm I'm I don't give a shit. I do not I give a shit. I don't give a shit about your I'm pictures on your that. phone. I don't give a shit about you know what kind of drug addict you are because you are, and you need to get help after all this. I don't care what I mean. You need to do whatever it is to straighten your life out. If this shit doesn't straighten your life out, I don't know what will. But I got to be on your side because it's the right thing to and do. I need you guys well, to I got do. or find your son, or I got to try and be on the right. I got to go tell, and Detective Beasley's got to go tell the world and our boss that we think you're straight. I can't do that right now because I know things. Okay. But I can't. The way this is, you know, this is people are watching this. Yeah. You know that I can't go and say, "All right, here's lie number 10. Why did you lie about this? And you go, oh well, I lied because I didn't want you to think. You I don't want this to be a long time. Okay, process. then let's let's start this way. All right, when since we've already covered the ride home with Jessica, did I miss anything on that between wackos and the ride home? No. Okay. Make no. sure because I want you to hold up your right hand. Swear to God because this is what I'm worried about. I Me and Christina did a bump in the car, but other okay. than that, no. There Where'd the rest nothing. of it go? Where'd the rest of it go? She had it. Okay. Hold up your right hand. Was your son still alive or was your son in that car when you went to work? Yes. He was still alive and he was in the car seat. I kissed him on his forehead along with my daughter. When I got out at Wacko's to go to work and told them I loved them and I, would, I said, I will love you guys. I will see y'all when y'all come to pick mommy up from work were my exact words to my children. All right, she ain't now. When you get home, the police gave you ample time to be with Ruben. Ample time, what's that? It means a lot of time. You had enough time to be with him before they separated y'all. Well, about 15, 20 minutes. That's, that's a lifetime. That's enough. Time. When okay. your kids listen, that's enough. Okay. okay. Now it's it's gone from he, told, he didn't want to tell you everything on the phone or tell you everything while you were coming home because you, that's why you, I guess that's why you made stupid decisions to I didn't know yeah. or I went straight well, there well that's what you say but when you get home and he's with you and you know all of a sudden this is for motherfucking real now yeah 
When's the last time you seen that many police somewhere? Exactly. Okay. So you got 15 minutes with him. I asked him what happened. I said, Rudin, you need to tell me what happened. And he told me that he put the kids in the car to come and get me. And then Lupita called. And he said that he went back upstairs. Who's Lupita? Lupita um, Hernandez. Okay. She's just some girl that I guess used to... You know her, though, because you just with, refer to her as Lupita. Maybe she, she used to date Danny, the roommate. Okay, so Danny knows Lupita. Yeah. He can, we can get a hold of Lupita through him or figure out more about her, know how old she is, what she I looks like. I don't know how old she is, but she's friends with Ruben on Facebook and um, I, probably Danny. How old so. does she look? Like? She's a, I'm, I would think she's at least in her early 30s. Okay. All right. But so. he told me that she called and um, he went back upstairs to grab her um, some Coke. Okay. That he was going to she and he was going to drop it off to her on his way to pick me up. He said, Where did, "How far is, is she allegedly from your job that he can do that?" Um, I don't know where he was supposed to meet her at. He well, I mean, her. I'm not saying that. How, according Normally to your she, understanding, how she, how long, how far away would she be to, to make this happen without on the way to, yeah, to where you were? He said he was going to meet her on the way to pick me up. So I'm assuming somewhere along the route to my job. Okay. He said that he was uh, he was getting it out the drawer and was locking the door the the door back and um, come in and you know was saying she was scared of the dark and um, he told her he said that he he told her to hold on just a second and um, to put he he put a movie on for a split second for he could you know finish getting together what. Lupita needed it, and um, he was, and he said, they, him and go downstairs, and when they got out there, the car was driving off, is what he told me. Just go downstairs. They're down there. Yes. I'm going to come in just listen, because I need to catch up. Right. And that's what he told me happened. What about... <clears throat> time y'all had together here or even like walk in when I couldn't hear y'all were he told me that he was he was ready to go he didn't want no he didn't need a babysitter me and him didn't need no one looking over our shoulders right now I had too much on my eye that I needed to relax and just rest my mind I told myself I can't do that my baby's missing right. and I was, you know, I was about to say how, that's your baby that, that's that's what what my, to my baby is missing it doesn't matter where I'm at. I'm not going to be comfortable. I, told I, I didn't want to leave you because I felt like y'all were the closest connection I had to my baby at this yes. point. And I told myself, Rudy, you can't tell me where my baby is. You're saying, you know, if he got kidnapped, then we need to be right here with them. You know, and you know how pissed off that yeah, made me. And I kept telling him, you know, there's no need for us to to leave. And I even got to the point telling fine, you can leave, but I'm not. I'm not leaving. Just hang out a little longer. If you leave, it's going to look like you're just, you know, you're just turning your back on, on me and my baby. As a, okay. I mean, but he, as far as anything significant, you're saying he didn't tell you anything. And he just kept telling me how sorry he was that that was the worst decision he could have, you know, made. But how was he supposed to know that someone was going to take the car? Okay. Let's bring the sergeant up to speed. You know this. If you don't know by now, this is our boss. Mm -hmm. This is who we answer to, and he answers, you know, above him to mm -hmm. the sheriff and lieutenants and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> first of all, tell him what you did because he hasn't been watching this. Mm -hmm. So tell him, tell him how bad we started out. And we started off pretty rough. Um, I did admit to lying about some things that was just out of stupidity and scaredness for the most don't part. Don't say and that. I was no, trying to cover. Don't say Yeah, okay. what was you trying to cover? Just trying to cover up the fact that I knew that, that I made fucked up decisions basically on allowing Ruben to be around my children with him being dealing in drugs. Um, just, and about the time broke, I, um, I went there and told him the truth. I told him. Tell him who you I, met there and why you went there. I met Jessica. Um, I don't know her last name. Can you say Hernandez? No, that's the that's Lapita's Lapita. Lapita. That's Lapita's last name. I don't I know was, Jessica's last name. I was trying to get her to tell me that. 
<laughs> well, I'm, I really don't. I don't know. Their, I don't know hers or Hilda's. I don't know their last name. So why'd you go there? I went and got twenty dollars from her, and um, she tried to to get rid of some coke to me. I told her I didn't want it because I needed the money. And um, what'd she owe you twenty dollars for? Because I bought her and her sister a couple of beers at Wacko's, and uh, I gave them twenty bucks where they could get a couple of beers at Wacko's. Their rule there is you have to have an open, you know, beverage at all times for you to be okay. there. So they didn't have no money. I loaned them twenty bucks. I needed the money back though, so I went by there and got it from her after work. Is that in relation to the text that Ruben sent you asking if you got the money? No, that was Brittany. And that was, that was for her. we babysit we babysit her kid Zane. He babysat her child Zane a couple weekends ago and um didn't she didn't pay him all the money at that time. So she But you say you got money. that. I could get I could call her and say ask about that, right? Yeah. yeah. So she did give you the money? To Brittany? Brittany? Yeah, she caught she caught me up, she gave me twenty bucks on the fifty that she had owed or whatever. She only owed us twenty. That's it. And she gave us 30 20 bucks. out of 50. Yeah. And she's paying to finish it off. Yeah, she's catching up because he babysits her kid. And if she don't pay him, then he won't you know, He won't necessarily keep him. Does she know he's a dope dealer? Yeah. She's known him longer than I have. Okay. She's how, he is how I met her. All right. Okay. Um, Let me ask you this. But what's the most important thing you in your life? My my children. Well, then why would you lie in an investigation where your child's missing? Was Joe really thinking that even that just did it? It didn't. I don't know. I don't. I don't know why I did. Just like I said, stupidity. You're trying to you know. I didn't why did want he want to leave so bad? But when we first brought y'all down here. Why did he want to leave? That's what I kept asking him. And what did he say? He kept telling me because he, um, oh, I, I got a record. I know how, the, you know, I know how this looks. They already trying to make me a suspect. Do you believe like that? that? That's what I told him. I said, well, if you're not, then it doesn't matter what they're trying to make you out to be. If you're not, you're not. You know, I told him, I'm not going anywhere. If you want to leave, then fine. But I really wish you wouldn't. You know, I was like, you're the only, you're the only person that can tell them what they need to know about my baby. You know, I said, me being his mother, you're even taking that spot from me. I can't tell. I can't give them what they need. You're the last one with them. You know, I need you here. If you you leave, you're you're bailing on me and my kid. You know, I don't I don't know what to do. You know, to do. I need you here. And that's when he's all, well, let's just go for the walk. You know, let me clear my head. And I said, okay. And when I told him, I'll stay here. You know, I'll just stay here in case they need to ask me anything when we're in the lobby. And you, you know, y'all go and you can clear your head, whatever. Go take your walk, come back. He's, he's telling his family to call you. He's telling his family to call me. To ask you if you believe he did anything, because he's telling them she'll tell you I, I didn't you do nothing. Could probably try and call me. Remember, you asked me, well, did I think that he would try and call me? And I told you yes. Do you think he did anything? Yeah. Don't look at me. Look at him. I'm not. I'm just answering the question. You're the one. That, I mean, but do you? What do you think he did? I have no idea. I know that he knows what happened to him. I know that he had to have. I, I hate to believe that what he, did he would do? purposely, you know, just maliciously hurt my baby. I, I wouldn't want to think that at all. He doesn't. He's never struck me as that type. Of We're not even saying that, to be honest. But with I you. know. Well, I know that, but I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, my mind just keeps going back to maybe a, an accident happened at home with my baby. Right. And, right. And he freaked out and made a you know a bad decision on top of a bad situation. Is that murder? No, it's not. And exactly. That's what I kept trying to tell him. You know, if exactly. an accident happened, tell me. They, you know, accidents happen. They happen. Right. And you know, I even told him. You know, I. I, I don't think that you would do that, you know, to just hurt my baby. But now you're, now you're, you're fucking with it because you're not telling us what happened. He's not, he's not giving you, he's not giving you the truth. He's not giving me the truth. You can give me my baby back and you won't. You know, I mean, and yeah, I fucked up and lied about shit that I shouldn't and had no reason to lie about. But that, that's a whole nother level. That's my baby's life that has nothing to do with a drug. That's. If he fell or in the bathtub, if he, whatever, I know y'all, you 
you keep bringing up him giving him a bath. So I don't know maybe if something happened to him in the bathtub. And you know, and we have stairs. Maybe he fell down the stairs. Or the something. neighbor bled. Your son ever bled? And never, never cut his head or his foot or his hand or. Oh well, yeah. Actually, he had a little scratch right here on his leg from um, he had gotten a little ant bite or something and scratched it. But I mean, and bleeding from that. Well, just from where he had picked the little scab off. Like of bleeding, it, so. like dropping. Oh no, no. No, he's never just had like you know he's never had a busted nose he's never had you know busted lips nothing drop like nothing, nothing yeah. dripping yeah. blood yeah no okay. he never seriously been hurt I mean in McClenny at the daycare he you know that's how he's got the little pink scar right there was he but he hit it on the table at the mm -hmm. daycare in McClenny that was nothing to do with here or even we didn't even live in Jacksonville then we lived with my mom. Right. So just make sure he knows that you did. You, the officer and, and Christina were right about what they were. Yes, reporting. their their report was right. Okay. Um, you realize, you know, I'm a hard ass, guilty. Man, you should be. Thank you. Um, but you know what side I'm on, right? You know what I want. Now we want the same thing. Everybody in this room. We all is the want same. the okay. same thing. And I just want to make sure we're clear really that, that about that. I'm not here to judge you. I, you know. And that was my mistake from the beginning, thinking that that's what was going to happen. I shouldn't have cared per se how you took me, anyways. But I'm that type of person. I'm not no, a bad I'm person. I make missing. bad. I have made bad decisions, but I'm really not a bad person, and I don't want you know people to look badly at me and i figured nobody's doing that people are doing that anyways for you know me being with ruben but honestly the california stuff like the trouble he's in in california that i'm just now hearing about i didn't know about what is that i don't know someone has said on the news i just thought i read it on the news okay. well, but be there's that's what i'm saying you know a lot of the things that he's in trouble for or have has done i didn't know all about. right well let's 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 go back to this real quick because this is sergeant's gonna want this and so okay we're not here to judge you or be mad at you unless unless I lie. Unless we don't we still got some more you gotta give us. Okay. I'm not, I'm not gonna ask for it. Well, I'm giving you everything I've I've got and everything I can think of. I Do you know what happened to your son? No, I do not. I know Ruben has something to do with it. We can all see he's lying and he's so not telling Put you on a polygraph. Are you gonna pass, pass it him? Yes, I will. With everything. With everything. No more lies. No more lies. I told him I'll be willing to meet him anytime he wants me to tomorrow. That's one thing I can I can say I got a clear conscience on there. Is okay. Well, we're probably going to do that that's just fine. to satisfy us. Well, side of, yeah, that's fine. And, and look at it this way. It's not to say you did anything, but it's also so to say that, that you I haven't did. done exactly. anything. Exactly. That's fine by me. Because the questions are easy. that he took one, too. I told him I'd be willing to take one right there along with him. We and need that. That's that's huge. For that's us. fine. I'm and you'll know the questions. That. There won't be no surprises. There usually be three to five questions. You know, I'm had, more than yeah. willing to do that. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's and what I, I want to hear. I would go do it now if you wanted me to, and you said no because mom. Don't go home. I don't know when we're going to do it. We'll give you twenty four hours notice. You can't do any drugs, okay. and you can't drink any alcohol for twenty four hours. Okay. Don't snort any coke. Don't smoke any pot. Don't drink any alcohol. Okay. I hope you've quit jack your it'll jack the results up. Okay. I hope you've quit that. Uh, yeah, I haven't done anything. I don't care to ever do well, anything. Through like this whole done. process, and for really forever, you you've got to be done with all that. Yeah, yeah. I don't even want to Jackson anymore. Period. What happened to us? He got into a wreck. Okay. I knew that. Oh. Something that you said concerned me. Oh. When we were in the car, you said how smart he is, and that if he'd have been dead earlier, he had plenty of time to figure out something to do with him. Reuben, if you look into Reuben, if you read his conversations, if you go back into his phone, read his text messages between him and his mother, his wording of things, you know, obviously make you aware that he is intelligent. He can be intelligent. Oh, he isn't. Yeah, we have no. You know what I mean? And qualms. That's he is scary. very intelligent. That, that's what I'm saying, and that scares me to think that maybe he can influence you. I know that in a minute. He has a lot of. Not he has a lot of influence not, over you. Maybe not, not anymore. No, not no more. Not no more. Yeah, but honestly, it just it just led me to believe that maybe um, maybe.
maybe if if he was hurt at home you know it's just like I, I told the other detective that took me home he could have fell in the bathtub or drowned or fell down the stairs and he could have easily toted my baby out like he was asleep or something you know what I mean and this is me logically reality thinking and put him in that car and yeah my daughter's seen him in that car seat sure but she says she know you know what I mean to tell the difference of whether Sleeping. he's okay or not why didn't he want me to talk to who Ruben I don't know well, I was worried about us going in the house. When we were still at the apartment, he oh, said... I told him that if I didn't want her to be uncomfortable, because she was already scared, you know, I just, if anyone, you know, talked to her, then I wanted to be right there to let her know it's okay. You know, you can talk to them. They're, you know, she's not going to hurt you, whatever. I just wanted to make sure that my daughter was comfortable where she'd help you more, honestly. Because she's the type of kid, and she, you know what I mean, you have to get her used to you first before she'll open up to you. She shies away until she's got that comfort with you. I just didn't want her to get scared, and, okay, and because Reuben had said that when, um, I guess when, when the law started showing up, I guess before I got there, that she had, you know, went inside and, you know, was scared. I just didn't want her to, to be scared was all, so I wanted to make sure I was there. I didn't care if you talked to her. I just wanted her to know it was okay you talked to her. That was it. Try to be here going back in there? Huh? What you try? Why did he not want the police going in there? And where? In the apartment. You know, we're texting back and forth. He didn't tell me he didn't want y'all going in there. He asked you he why. Asked why. He asked you why. He texted or, you why. Or that may have been you asking No, him. I asked him why did y'all yeah. go in there it's because okay. I see, I had just mentioned that I didn't want Lily spoken to, and then all of a sudden, you know what I mean, I see the first officer go in, and he told me, oh, he's using, he's using the bathroom. And then, um, <laughs> well, I mean, well, I just, uh, well, I just, it a just it's just, it's a laugh. It's not funny. And it's then what? But kind of she went in right behind, or a, a female officer went in right behind him, and I just yeah, felt like they were trying to talk to her. Or detectives? Um, no, I went up to talk to, I, to yeah, Aranda, I just felt, I felt, Aranda, I felt like, Danny. I felt like they were, you know, going to make me feel un uncomfortable or scare her, and I just wanted to know what was going on at that point. I care who goes in and out. I want to know what's going on inside the house too. I'm out here, y'all are in there. I want to know what y'all, you know, what y'all are doing, what's going on and if I can help you find anything that you're looking for. That was out of concern. So, I just wanted to know what was going on. We need to be, you need to make sure there's going to be nothing or no one else come out or have us go she didn't fucking tell us that okay you need to think about that right now I'm going over everything I'm thinking of everybody that because he if something messes else with comes up. anyone that could you know I'm trying to think of everyone that possibly comes over or anything like that that he could have you know went to their house like you said, he was at South Side, didn't you say? He was on South Side. It shows him in surveillances on the South Side somewhere at a bank, at the bank. Yeah. yeah. Now, is that, we have him on the bank. Is that the bank on Bay Meadows or the one on University and Powers or whatever? There's two banks yeah. in America that he goes well, Why would to. he be down around 95 and 295 area? 95 and Phillips Highway. Phillips Highway? Okay. Um, well, we live right around that area. Not Phillips no. Highway. You're far from you there. You lived or live? No, we we live on. You have to go right across Phillips mm -hmm. to get to way, University. Way no, no, no. Talking down Phillips by Highway. the avenues. Yeah, oh, but the avenues. Oh, oh, I don't know. I don't even know that area. I don't know anyone. Over you there. ever you tell you about? Down there? Um, the only, remember, I told you the only time we've ever went to around the avenues was so to meet Chris, that girl Christina for him to you know do transactions with her, and that was that. She buy pills from her. He does. Is she doctor shopping for him, or is he buying she, bills that, that, that he uses? I, the only thing I've seen him do is I've seen him give her money, and then she's went to, I guess, to another vehicle. So she's doctor sh oh, okay. She's went to another vehicle and got them from that person that she knows, and then brought them back. Pills to that he's eaten, or is he turning around and selling them? Both, I guess. I'm assuming Didn't both. Didn't you say he gives them the money for the doctor's appointment? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, so he I'm, gives them the money to yeah, doctor. and then he okay. gets... I guess part of however they agree on whatever. I don't know. I don't do detail. You know, I just know that. that you can't be ignorant like that anymore. I mean, with, if you're going to be have somebody around your kids, yeah. you can't be. Well, that's his thing. 
Right. If that's your partner, especially if they have their kids, you better know them inside and fucking out. Inside. You know, I mean, you still got your stuff to take care of Baker County. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to give you some advice. You're, you're going to, you're going to be, you're, this is going to, th- you're famous now. People are going to know you as mom. You need to settle that with Baker County. And if it's being a witness or if it's telling the truth about something you did wrong, you better fucking do it. You're going to be under a microscope for a long time. Big time. Okay. DCF's already watching everything. You know that. Mm -hmm. We don't go out there and tell our business on things and stuff like that. But if, you know, if you're out there doing something, if you're out there smoking a J with the next door neighbor, trust me, somebody's going to put a camera on you. And so a neighbor's going to tell somebody you don't like is going to drive by and say, I know that bitch, she, she's fucking killed her son, and she's, been, she's out here doing nothing. I got on it. And then you're going to... I'm going to go... Uh, hang on just a second, please. I'm going to go downstairs to the meeting. Okay. Are we good here? We're good here. All right. So, um, you just... Hello? Tell you from here on out, you got to be... Yeah, okay. this is life-changing. Well, I, 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 I still there... I, I feel there's some things holes that we have I really do and I hate to say because you know I'm trying not to leave any holes at all and uh, any gaps that are unfulfilled I'm trying I'm doing my very best to put us closer to tell me anything else that you can think of that you're probably like man I shouldn't tell I I didn't want to tell them this because I didn't want them to think that I was involved or that I'm, I'm a bad person or whatever any other things anything about the, anything about your about room doing, doing what about your room my room yeah what, what about anything me? in your room or anything like uh, that? There's a bong in there. I mean, okay. got a little gravity bong and um, novelty pipe is what we call them. No, it's a bong. <laughs> it's not a pipe. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm being honest. Isn't that a 70s term, a bong? Yeah. It's a gravity yeah. bong. That's what it was called on the box. Is there any way baby could have got a hold of something that he shouldn't have got a hold of? Um, not to my knowledge. I mean, unless he climbed, he can't open the drawer. Where, well, where did Ruben keep the cocaine at? If he was going to go get cocaine, in the drawer, in the drawer, the nightstand the, drawer, the, the desk, the desk. That's how, where he kept everything at. And how much right. would he keep on it? You know, as a. I'm not saying he's rich. I'm not saying he kept a fucking kilo of cocaine. Package, yeah, no. I was gonna say uh, maybe like a couple packages or or. I would say. No more than seven or eight grams at a time. Okay. He never, he never went and bought a whole bunch of it at one time or anything like that. Why would he take money out of the account? Why would he c- clean your account out? Y'all shared account, right? No. No. The I Bank of America was. Yeah, I don't his. Even, that's his does, account. I don't does even. he have access to your account? No. My account, my bank account, is in McClinney. I have a bank in McClinney that I bank with. And there ain't no one on my account but me and my mama. Ruben has his own bank account. Okay. He offered to add me to it, and I told him that was, you know, not necessary. I don't need to be on your bank account. Now, you know what I mean? If we were married or, you know, been living together longer than a couple of months, then, yeah, give me your bank card. But, no, I make my money. I have my money. He has his. Okay. You, know, you know, he provided his income. I provided my own. I work. You got to... Um we don't give share you, let me give you a little bit of advice. No, I did okay. give him a hundred bucks. The money he has right now is mine. He has my food stamp card in his wallet. Okay. Let me give you some advice though. All right. Like the sergeant said, your your life is gonna be under a microscope. You know? Um if you got addiction problems or whatever, you need to get off that shit. You need to make your you need to do whatever your mom or whoever's willing to help you get done. If you like to smoke weed, if you like to take pills, you need to get off that shit through this. I mean, for this process, okay. Okay. And you need to do it on your own. Mm-hmm. When our reports come out, all this comes out. Okay. So the stronger you are, the cleaner you are. The better. The better. Okay. All right. It's not going to be easy. No, no, it's not. I mean, it hasn't been easy the last few days. And honestly, I've, I've smoked weed for a really long time. I've wanted to just calm myself down, whatever. And I've told myself, no, I you want know, it. My baby's more important than that. I've tried to keep. I've tried to keep my mind as clear as possible, so that I can help you guys. Who's get the person to you? My, who's the person you trust the most on this planet? Who loves you more than anybody? I can tell you that. Like. 
Yeah, well, who grown who loves up, you more than anybody? Who, a grown up, who my do you mom? trust most? Yes. I'm going to tell you right now, you lean on her. If something bothers you or whatever, you go to her. If you think it's going to be a bad decision or you don't know something because you're you're going through this, obviously, and you know there's going to be temptations to do this, go to your mom. Do whatever she says. All right? Just you got to straighten yourself up. I don't think it's the person you need, you need to be around with either, but um, that's you need to evaluate that. All we can that. focus on it. He's, uh, I'm trying to, you know, hold hold our family, you know, together and be, you know, supportive. Don't he has a say. shitload of problems. He does. All he can, you know, focus on is, are we getting back? I don't want to be with you whether or, you know, no matter what. If it's not here. working, if he's, if he's still hustling, if he's hanging around, if, if Sean's a bad apple, you don't need to be around that. Because all that's going to come on you. If fucking hustling something, I'm sure he's got his own addiction problems. Then tell him thanks, but no thanks. Okay? Because he's going to be looked at too. Either you're going to be paired up with him, smoking pot together, or doing something fucking stupid, or they're going to look at his dad. They've already looked at his record. If you want to be associated with that and you're strong enough, that's your decision. I'm just recommending because we know this. Okay? You're going to be judged by people that don't know you, by the media, whatever. Clean your shit up. And, you know, I'm not judging you. I could care less how you pay your bills. Right. But I do not know a dancer and never have that doesn't do drugs. That's the lifestyle. You're up all night. It goes with it hand in hand. And it's not that you're a bad person. You were paying bills, and we get that. But get out of it. You can find something else. I'm trying to hurry in. Your mom is dying for you to call her and talk to her. I'll call her. I will. But it's just. I know I lied, but I'm not lying about knowing where the whereabouts of my baby. I, that I would lie about. I don't care. I don't I think would, you're lying about knowing where he is. I'm not, and I don't know what happened to him either. Like I told him, I feel Ruben, you know, may freaked out on something. I don't, I just never seen him be violent natured. You know, I've looked at his rap sheet, like on the news. and He said he got very angry when he was potty training. He did? So maybe that's something that happened while we're at work. She didn't tell me that. She didn't tell me that. Okay. So see, that's something new too then. Well, we got to address it. Yeah. Let's just be honest, okay? You know I am. Well, she had said, she was telling me something that told my mom, that my mom let her know about that I hadn't heard that yet. Okay. Uh, but I hadn't had too much time with either. But she was, I was just telling her, you know, yeah, I do. I know Ruben knows where my baby is. And I know he knows what happened to him. That I, I don't doubt. And I don't doubt that at okay. all. At all do I doubt that. I mean. The stolen I, car bit is that's bullshit. bullshit. Yeah, that's bullshit. It, I, when the, the minute you pointed out to me that he was not on surveillance chasing the car, but yet coming back without it. In the amount of time you told me time frame, I looked at you right then and told you, yeah. Right. I, I, I he steals totally a car agree with you. And, like I told and he you. says he calls 9 or when his car gets stolen, and he calls 911. It's bullshit because he don't come right back then, for nine minutes after the car is allegedly but stolen. what did I tell you right yeah. then? He's full of shit. I see now. We're yeah. not picking on Reuben. No, but Reuben's digging his own self. If, if you were dating a preacher... And he did the same thing. It would still be the same thing. Exactly it's right. I, I don't care that it's, it's not about race, not about record. It's not. And it's I just about that. the way it is. And I know that. Okay. And like I told you in the beginning, no, you know, I don't see Ruben doing any of this. But it took you to point out certain facts to me. To I get to that. Me that yeah, he love and and being around somebody who's managed to keep a way they really are private and manipulate, which everybody says. Uh, then you know it's an issue, but we got we got to address. But that. that's what I'm saying here, you know. But Detective Beasley, you. we're going to address it. She's going to um, go over some things. Okay. 
people at the wackos are talking. Okay. 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 They're talking about what happened. Well, what happened? Well, when what when Christina saying? asked you why you lied to the police, what'd you tell her? About uh, about Ruben and the the car about anytime because that's the only time I've spoken to her. So um, when she asked you why did you lie to the police after you lied to the police, what did you tell her? I told her that I wanted to I wanted to get back here. The cops were already here anyways. I wanted to find out what's going on. I didn't want to just say something inform wrong. I wanted to know what was going on firsthand before I talked to anybody at all. I want to be right there is what I told her. I want to just get there and I want to find out what's going on. Then I'll be willing to talk to anybody once I'm right there in this, you know, in, in the middle of it. I want to know what's Have going on. Have you talked to anybody from the club? Brittany. What is Brittany telling you? Brittany told me like at like I don't know what time it was it's on phone where I talked to her late last night that um she told me J Jamie, Jamie that Jamie said he overheard someone at the club say that Ruben and Christina had been um or told me tell her to tell she said tell that she she don't need to talk to Christina or have anything, you know, have anything to do with her. She needs to tell them to look into her. That Ruben, you know, had been talking to her all day and and all night. She probably knows where your baby is. And I asked her. I said, Christina, who? Because there was the Christina that dropped me off that night, and then there's the Christina that Ruben deals with. And they both know him. And uh, she told me she didn't know the girl's last name. He didn't tell that Jamie didn't give her a last name. She would try and find out today what Christina, you know, Christina who, so that she could tell me the last name to give to you guys. And But yeah. you should be telling us this without us asking. Well, I had all intentions of telling you guys that I talked to Brittany today and that she told me that. Well, you haven't told us that until we bring it up. You see what I'm saying? What? Now, well, I brought up, I brought up. Brittany, me talking to Brittany, and even volunteering that information to you guys. No, which but you're is not. More, but what I'm saying is, I'm not lying did, to y'all at all. Period. Did, any, did we anybody don't need you ever to be discuss? Did anybody ever discuss you? Anybody else? About I what? To anyone? From okay. What, what's the rumor? Time. What's the rumor going around about what happened to him? Brittany said people have just been asking her left and what's right. What's the rumor? What are they saying? They're saying that they never thought that Ruben would do something and what to else? a baby. Something else. And what else? That's it. That's all. What I've else? Heard. What is Ruben known for at the club? Drugs. Okay. So he goes up to Wacko's and he sells pills and drugs and everything, right? And everybody knows this. It's not a secret. Yeah. yeah. And I could give a rat's ass about that. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Okay. But that's all she. So what's the rumor about what happened to the baby? What is everybody assuming happened to the baby? What are they telling you that they think happened to the baby? No one has told me what they thought okay. happened to my baby. I haven't spoke to anyone. I haven't been speaking to... What is Brittany saying that the Brit rumors are? She didn't say. She just told me that they didn't ever think that Ruben would do anything. They'd never seen this happening, you know, to me and Ruben or, you know, that they didn't see Ruben besides as... Your, besides your son missing... that would do something to a kid. That would hurt, you know. Besides your son missing, as people knows. talked about, and I'm sorry for saying this, as people talked about that he may not be alive. Yeah. Okay. And have they talked about how he may not be alive? Oh, and you talking about like on Facebook and stuff? I've been following. Stuff how? On Facebook. How been people? How? How do? What's the rumor as far as people say how? If he people did? are saying they don't think he would intentionally hurt. What are they saying? They're saying things like he knows where the baby is. He needs to just tell them. That um, if, well, it, if it was an the accident, then okay. that he needs to just tell them. Um, he, they're, they're not saying specifically, oh, uh, oh, I think that he did this to the baby. That's not what people are saying. Hey, but what are they? How are they thinking? Died. They're not specifying. You can look it up on Facebook yourself. My message. What's is the whatever. rumor? People, at I Rabbit haven't Rabbit. heard a certain rumor. Brittany from didn't Marcos. tell you. No, what? she did it. She told me that all the, you know, she's like, all the girls are praying for you. All the girls are out, you know, taking shifts looking for him. We all went to the vigil. 
Um, we just, you know, we just never seen, you know, Ruben as hurting a kid is shocking us all that he, you know, that he even has anything. Because he's such a good drug dealer. The, yeah. But they're just saying that toward a kid, whatever. But there's not, no one specified. She didn't say anything about a rumor of what could have happened to him there. She didn't say anything. What do you think to happened me. to him? What do I think happened to him? I think that he wasn't watching him properly. And? and I think that he either, uh, that he either got, he either, say it, honest say opinion it. is he either, he probably either drowned in the bathtub or he wasn't watching him in our room and he got a hold of something he probably shouldn't have. Right. Those are the You're only right. two logical things that I can think of. You're right. That Or, as, like I told you, I've been telling you from the beginning, I feel like something happened at my house, that my baby was already hurt before they come and got me. Did I not tell you that several times? Well, we're, we're still trying to dispel that he wasn't already hurt before you went to work. Well, that you can uh, pull wackos as cameras. I parked right when I got dropped off. When I pulled up, I pulled up right in front of the door. And that was at about 8. Mm -hmm. And you'll eight, see eight, a guy, eight. you'll see one of the guys that drives the golf cart uh, walk up to Ruben. Ruben's getting out the passenger side. You'll see him shake hands, and I'm walking around the back side. And the back windows of the car are not tinted. And maybe you can zoom so you'll in. Pass you'll, that, you'll pass that test with flying colors. Yes, sir. Okay, that's what I want to hear. Okay, that's what I want to hear. The more I know you're being honest with me, the more I'll bat for you. Well, I'm being completely honest. Okay. Just, um, that's what I want to know. Okay. A lot of rumors is we're hearing, and you could tell us it's not. If this is true, I want to know. Okay. Donna wants to know. We want to know. Okay. If it's true that he overdosed, died in the tub, whatever, I don't know. If I it's don't true. Know either. Those are just thoughts that I had. Those are just me. Okay. Just guessing. Me, yeah, me Julie. assuming that that's about the only but thing I can see happening. If the question, or if, it's, if somebody asks you a question, do you know that? That he's dead or that he died from an overdose or. However, I do not know okay. that. Okay. But I'm assuming. And you're not worse. right. And you're not a witness to that. And the last no time you saw, away. the last time you saw your son, he was alive and he was fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ruben his bottle, he had actually red juice in his bottle that I had just made him from when we left the house. Did Ruben ever tell you he got a hold of the pills? No, he did not. He didn't, he has not told me anything other than someone stole the car with the baby in it was the only story that he gave me on what could have happened to my baby other than him basically looking me in my eyes telling me I'm sorry I didn't you know I didn't hurt him you have to believe me I didn't hurt you know I didn't harm him that's what when I asked him when he couldn't answer me when he didn't answer me and started pushing for you to take me out of this room is when I asked him is my baby alive, Ruben? Can you take me to my you know, take me to my baby? Give me my baby back, no matter how you have to give him back to me. I want to hold him dead or alive. I want my baby. And he told you to get me out of here. Right. That right there was what did me. Did that bother you? It did bother me. And what did I tell you after that? Me and you both agreed. He knows. We that I stood right there while you leaned up against that wall, and I told you, Ruben, I'm past the part of believing that my baby's okay. That window's gone. Now I just want to know where the fuck he is and why you're not telling me where my baby is. You know, I know you know. Everyone knows you know. Just tell us where he is. You were standing right there when I told you. It's not, it's not crazy for us to believe that you know that now, right? Yeah. Yeah. And he, I mean, like and I, I told see you that. Again, he's the whole key. He's the whole key. To this and thing. I know that. And I see that. And, you know, I've never once told you that you were wrong on that. The only thing I told you was I didn't think that he intentionally or purposely harmed or, you know, right. hurt my child. And, you know, and, and just make sure we got this right. Him washing clothes at 1 a.m. or 1.45 a.m. is fucking crazy. Yeah, like I said, we normally do them together. Is it late at night? Sometimes it's after I get off work. But my kids are normally with my mom or something like that, and it's because we have nothing else to but do. But not only that, at but that time, by himself, at what I just told you, that time... When he's rushing to pick you up from That's work, what I'm saying, at 145, that close to me being home... That's ridiculous. Yeah, that makes sense. yeah like I said, it's normally when we get... When I'm but in this case, work. it's ridiculous. Yeah. Because he's supposed to pick you up and, and not be putting a load of clothes in the fucking morning. Exactly. Okay. So... Where do, I mean, where do we go from here? Well, we main thing is we need to make sure that 
is there anything else you haven't told us? That's is there anything besides this? We need to know this last the name of this the last name of this girl, um, you know, Jamie or whoever knows some of these other things that people are telling them because there's going to be a lot of chicken heads and people talking stuff. But anything regarding this case that now now you're with us that you haven't told us you've been embarrassed to tell us you're like oh they're gonna do this you know we're here for your son no honestly i've told you guys everything you know i told you that that i've done that i've been doing the coke or whatever I told you i went to to get the money i told you and you told your mom you have an issue with that stuff she knows okay well, you're gonna let her know you need help with that yeah i've let her know before i mean after today you need to tell your mom i've got to get off everything that's fine that's all i do I don't do pills. That I didn't lie to you about. That I don't. Okay. Do. I don't then do I appreciate pills. you saying that because I can tell that's honest. Yeah. Because you you're more you know, your whole demeanor is different when you're honest. Okay. Well, I'm just I am. I'm being honest. I don't think that I've left anything out at all. Right. And if anything does come to my mind that is important, I'll tell you. But. The or if anything comes is, to your text, or if anything comes in a phone call, or if anything. Letters. He can write a letter that might slip out that we may not get it. Okay. You know. Okay. And if people... I have a question. He doesn't have... If, I mean, I think that if he could contact me, if he had a way to contact me, he would. Obviously, he's trying to get his family to do it for him. You guys have my phone. He well, I'll tell you right now. Service. We'll tell you right now. He's trying to get a hold of you. Do you think that he's going to try and tell me where he is? I think he's going to continue to manipulate right. you because that's what he does, right. and I don't care right. to talk to him. She's spot on with that. Then I don't care to talk to nah, him. You know, you can talk all you want. Just don't. He's if never going to admit to you well, because then there's he no manipulates need for you. To speak you. To him. Well, I can tell you this, though. If, or if you're convinced he knows and he's responsible, or at least he knows where your son's at, he can contact you all you want. Fucking write him a letter every day. Tell them where my son's at. Yeah. If he calls you, if he gets a I call through, if he ever gets a call through, gonna... get. I'm not. You. The only thing I need to hear from you is tell me where my son's at. I'm not listening to the bullshit you say. If you can't start a sentence saying Aaron is where, but see, I, don't I don't ever think, phone. I don't think you can do no, that with him. But that's all you can tell him. If he call, I, I, if I'll he, honestly, him. if he's not willing to tell me, you know what happened, then I don't care to speak to him. Period. What I mean, what's the point of me listening to him tell me, do you believe me? No, I don't. So there's well, the you know, honestly, I still think, though, that uh, he's he's a very strong manipulator. He is. And, he is. But you, if you're strong and he don't see you budge, he might slip up and say something. You I'm not saying so. he, might, he might give you well, something. He tried. He, he wanted know more, to. But you know just, more of the story now. Right. Okay? Yeah. The whole story before is, the original story is, I'm coming to pick you up. I run inside to get something, and I and I and the car gets stolen. But I'm headed to come pick you up. And we know now he wasn't coming to get you. Yeah. So what were you doing? Where's my baby? Where Where'd you take him? Basically. All right. So. I have a question. Was there a car seat? Was when y'all found the car? Was his car seat in there? Yep. Okay. You had said that. There was no car seat. In no, the car. she said she didn't see him in the car seat. Well, no, so I'm saying now I know she said that. She said she didn't see him in the car. She checked all in the back seat. Him and his car seat was gone. She's all right, like, and I'll be honest with you, it's it's going to be hard not to ask her more. <clears throat> talk well, about that's it. really why I've kind of kept my distance from her. Me agreed that we didn't want to um, slip up talking to each other about it and her. Well, she's already it. overheard too much. Yeah, exactly. Well, we were trying to keep you know what happened on her part fresh in her mind to where it's not com combobulated with everything else that's gone on since and she's not you know mistakenly uh, putting this piece from today together to what happened that night all she's got to do is hear so, mommy thinks this or mommy thinks exactly. that and so i'm gonna been, make them happy and i'm gonna say i remember this or that moms. we've stayed at my aunt's where you picked us up from you know we've called and talked to the kids but it has not been related to the baby it has been strictly, we love you. Yes, we're going to be out there soon to see you. You know what I mean? Be good. It's been things like that. It hasn't been nothing to do with him. I would highly recommend any services, CPTs, giving you brochures for or DCF, get that girl some attention. Oh, yes. she's definitely. 
She is a Definitely. sweetheart. Whatever you, whatever's been done for her up until this point, she's come through it because she is a doll and she is smart. I know she is. And whatever you know, our kids are basically see, our trophies just, as well. If you've if you've done, if she's turned out the way she has so far with the shit you've put her through, or environment that you and Ruben have put her through, and she's still as good as she is, you got some hope. She's a darling. She's intelligent. She's gorgeous. She's she's really honestly, she's got she a has good had heart. A rough run. Even with me, why me up? We fought too much around. We argued too much around her, and I didn't like you know her seeing us fight and us argue. And we just we grew apart. I got with him when I just was just don't young. ruin her. That's all I'm saying. And don't I'm ruin. Doing live your life too. now for her. Don't ruin her. Don't mm -hmm. And landed. Okay. Addicted to cocaine.